Hello, this is Ocean Henry 2, Foxford Tango Golf, and in this video we are going to make a simple coaxial dipole without stopping too much for to consider theory and all that stuff. So without further stuff, this is the calculation we are going to use to determine the wavelength of the frequency and that's how large the antenna needs to be. This is an approximation, but it's it's not like we are going to be transmitting with this antenna, so it's all right. So we divide 300 with the frequency megahertz, and we get the wavelength in meters. But because we are going going to be making a half wavelength coaxial dipole from coax, it's so we are going to need half of that. But first, we are we are going to calculate the wavelength. In this case, we are going to be making the antenna for 868 megahertz, which is an ISM band in Europe, and there's some stuff occasionally on there, and that's 0 0.3456 meters or 34.5 centimeters, but that's like the full wavelength. We need half of that for the dipole, but because I'm going to be making it from coax, it's going I'm going to divide it by 4, and thus we get 8.64 centimeters. Okay, and that's the theory. Now let's get cracking. This is the original antenna, it's crap. You can do something with it if you want to, but you're not gonna really be hearing anything with it. And it's it's really crappy even the inside. I might take a few pictures at some point if you haven't opened your own, I suggest it. Here I have one that I have already liberated of the original mag mount. You can use something like side cutters to get rid of that, but the coax is quite thin and quite soft, so you could probably do it with a scissors, with a pair of scissors or something like that. So we are going to measure a quarter wavelength of this, and one simple tool to have in the lab is the cheap free the free tool, the IKEA paper me tape measure. These are really useful because you can like grab a bunch and have this all around the house and not worry really about find always finding one. And well, it, this is gonna be a bit approximate anyway. So we're gonna measure out. There's six. There's eight and eight point six uh, something. Somewhere there. So now we need to remove the insulation from here off. And to do that, you can either just circle around the coax with a pair of scissors and then pull it off or pull it off in segments. You can cut it open lengthwise with a exacto knife or something like that, or you can use something like a cheap tool like this and just stretch it off. And that's what we are going to do. So I mark it with my finger here. So let's see if we can take it all off with in one go. Nope. There we go. Okay, cool. Now we have the wire exposed. Now we just separate these two. From here, this is the co the copper top stuff is the coax shield. As you may know, notice it's not that thick or anything. So we just separate the center conductor and the shield. We roll the shield up and voila! We have a simple half wavelength dipole. It's crap, but it's it's fast and it should be less crap than the original mag mount. 
and it's somewhat tuned to the frequency you might hear something. But the coax used here is usually something like RG174, which is quite lossy, and it's some Chinese no-name coax anyway. But it's an easy and cheap way to experiment, and you can use the original mag mount for something else, like mounting it on a chocolate container and building something like a combi generator or a beacon or something out of it. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna stuff inside, but you can do something like this with the original or just throw it away or use it as a fridge magnet. I don't really care. So, there you have it. Simple, cheap, fast dipole. And this was Osenhenry 2 Foxtrot Tango Golf.